All right, yep. Come on, camera. All right, guys. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous. We are talking about an over-the-top beautiful. It is a Monday in paradise in the shithall town of Candor, New York. Welcome to the village of Candor. Settled in 1794. 1794 people have been. Come on, little dog. We got a long walk. And, uh, this is, it is Monday, October 21st, 2024. So I have never taken a walking tour of Candor, New York in my entire life. So, uh, while I'm waiting for my truck to get worked on by the mechanic, another day of my life and hundreds of dollars going into this. I thought I would get out there on this spectacularly gorgeous day. We're taking little dog and I, I don't know, a four mile hike beach sitting around a mechanics shop so anyway uh, what do I have to rant about on this beautiful day uh, let me rant about the Menendez I hope I'm pronouncing that right the Menendez brothers uh, I was over on Netflix last night trying to <clears throat> get out of the damn Doomosphere and the Graham Hancock ancient apocalypse, which I've kind of worn out. So, uh, <clears throat> I guess there's two things on Netflix. I guess there's like a fictional movie about the Menendez brothers, and then there is uh, the documentary version which is just shy of two hours, which is really, you know, based on interviews with the Menendez brothers from prison. They have been sitting in jail, I guess, since 1989 for anybody living under a rock. Uh, so these were these two guys, these two rich kids uh, in Beverly Hills, uh, I guess one was 19 and one was 21, Lyle and Eric uh, blew their brains out of their uh, father and mother and uh, starting one of many famous trials back in LA. It was all, we had the Menendez brothers, we had Rodney King, and of course, O.J. Simpson, uh, all three going on at the same time. It might have even been the same judge, I don't know. But, you know, every single one of those uh, cases just completely bungled by the uh, L.A. court system. E every single one of them. Uh, ma making an absolute mockery of this joke called the criminal justice system. So, uh, with the Menendez brothers, you know, their, their first trial, it was a hung jury. So, uh, after wasting all of that time and taxpayers' money, uh, it was a hung jury, so they retried uh the case and i guess the first time was before rodney king and oj simpson uh so the second trial was just right after the the oj simpson miscarriage of justice when that obviously guilty uh just cold-blooded murderer uh was was let loose uh, just, oh well, uh, and of course completely embarrassing the judge and the prosecutor and, and all of that as 
they just turned. Uh, it, 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 I mean, Sancho Panza would have understood that O.J. Simpson w w was open and shut, guilty as sin, uh, gunning down his ex-wife and uh, her friend. Uh, so anyway, they, they let that guy go, and then they retry the uh, Menendez brothers just a few weeks after and uh, just just completely sold them down the river completely sold them down the river this judge was so uh, livid and embarrassed about the uh, OJ Simpson verdict that he was determined he was going to get a conviction uh, this is first degree murder, life in prison with no uh, chance of parole. Uh, was, was 100, I mean, he, he wanted a conviction. So, uh, an absolute miscarriage of justice in that second trial it was, was an absolute joke. Uh, they completely shut down uh, the defense side and handed the the case over to the prosecutors uh, you, you know on a silver platter and uh, there was no hung jury uh, in this case uh, they came back 12-0 uh, murder one sending both those kids to prison for the rest of their lives with no chance of parole and uh, so the uh, goddamn uh, LA court system, the criminal justice system, the, the, the very, uh, just the very uh, oxymoron contradiction in terms, the criminal justice system uh, in, in, in this country. Uh, how it stacked either for or against the criminals and so uh, probably one or two people listening to me rant about this are probably surprised to hear me with this rant because as uh, I have stated many times over many years uh, that I am a huge fan of capital punishment and raiding, raiding the garbage can. There's a nice little dog ball in there for you, Sancho, but I'm getting a new free coat rack. Uh, a really tiny house. Uh, So, I, I, I am fully on record, I have always been on record, even w when I was a little limp dick, snowflake, social justice warrior lefty back in the old days when I actually uh, identified with the limp dick, social justice warrior lefties. Uh, Capital punishment, I, I've never understood. I'm, I'm just like my my lefty mama. She never understood it either. Uh, why capital punishment was a was a lefty issue. These are those burning bushes that get all that bad press for being an invasive species in New York. I don't think there's anything invasive about burning bush, but anyway. I tend to get distracted on my walks. I think that's quite beautiful. Uh, so anyway, I, I am 100% am in favor of capital punishment. I think we need a hell of a lot more capital punishment uh, on this planet uh, than, than, than we've already got. So uh, why would I be defending uh, those little spoiled rich kids who I guess inherited 14 million dollars by putting bullets through their parents head uh, well there, there is a, a 
an asterisk the uh, you know the size of the LA County Courthouse about capital punishment uh, and that is if the people who were murdered uh, deserved it it, 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 if they deserved it, then uh, I don't think the people uh, who did uh, the planet a favor uh, by, by getting these fucking scumbags off the face of the planet uh, should, should serve a day in jail. I think the Menendez brothers uh, should have been let go and... and uh, given a purple heart now I, I do need to make a little bit of a comment because they I mean all I have to base this whole thing on is some two-hour documentary on Netflix for God's sake so I'm a little bit on the fence about the mother about them uh, killing their mother and, and, and claiming self-defense. Uh, the mother in the situation uh, was clearly not a threat to those, to those kids. Uh, I, I have my, my guess is that she was every bit as much victimized by that fucking uh, uh, dude that she was married to uh, as uh, almost as the sons I, I, I'm guessing she was an, just a, you know a, an abused wife as much as the uh, the kids uh, what, what they fucking dealt with but it could be that she was just a nasty fucking bitch uh, who deserved the same bullet through her head as that fucking scumbag she was married to. So, I don't have enough information to render my judgment on the mother, but uh, the goddamn father, Jesus fucking Christ, the, 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 this goddamn scumbag. Uh why those kids didn't uh, put a fucking bullet through that motherfucker's uh, head. Uh, you know, years before they did, why they uh, put up with that goddamn bullshit from, uh, from, from that motherfucker. You know, uh, again, I just... I'm always thanking, thanking the universe that my scumbag, abusive father uh, was dead fucking some woman half his age in a motel room in Pensacola, Florida with a wife and five kids back in Atlanta. Best thing that ever happened to me. And, and best thing that ever happened to me, best thing that ever happened to my mother, best thing that ever happened uh, to uh, my siblings, what, what, what was having that fucking evil motherfucker dead and gone. Uh, Jesus, the, 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 the way my, my life played out differently with the universe looking out for my best interest. Now, anyone who knows the details of the Menendez case, I'm not suggesting my father uh, carried out his abuse in exactly the same way. I, I'm not charging my father uh, with that uh, nasty scumbag, but uh, what is this place? I've never... Brood Awakening supports your local caffeine dealer. I have never seen this in my life. I walked right past it earlier. Uh, but anyway, enough about dear sweet dad. Uh, I, I, I mean that 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 fucking scumbag. 
uh, that those kids killed. Uh, you know why? And 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 as you'll see in the documentary, uh, they they keep stressing the fact. The the judge keeps stressing the fact that even if the allegations were true that Lyle and Eric were claiming in court, and I for one believe every single word uh, that they said in court, I believe every single word of what they claim their father did to them growing up was exactly true. And I also believe their contention that their mother, while she was not directly abusing them, was fully aware of uh, what her husband was doing to her own children and did absolutely nothing to stop it, to get them uh, out, of that, out of that situation and, and get that motherfucker arrested and thrown in goddamn prison. But, uh, you know, as it kept making the point that uh, a, a, life, a lifetime of abuse at the hands of some fucking monster scumbag is not, is not a, uh, an excuse for acquittal that uh, you, you can't, the, the, the fact that these kids had suffered uh, shit for, uh, you know, their entire childhoods uh, by this motherfucker, uh, like, they, like the jurors were not supposed to weigh that, uh, weigh that evidence in. Uh, it is not uh, an excuse for a an acquittal on a on a murder charge. Uh, I guess maybe the 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 big contention was whether is it enough to bring it down from a murder one charge to a manslaughter charge when uh, I keep seeing all of these boxes. Man, look at all this free silverware. Another box of coffee cups. Take me a... Look at all that free silverware. And there's still not many spoons in it. And, uh... It, 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 this absolute unadulterated horseshit that a lifetime of abuse uh, d does not count for anything uh, at, at most bringing it down from murder one to manslaughter it's fucking bullshit that motherfucker uh, deserved to die he needed to be strung up by his fucking balls and uh, hung from the tallest tree it's swinging by his fucking balls. Let the motherfucking buzzards uh, peck his fucking eyes out. Uh, I, 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 you know, I, I just do not fucking get it. Uh, how, how anybody, the fucking ACLU or any, uh, you know, would, uh, would defend this motherfucker. The motherfucker had no business being on this planet. It has nothing to do with, with, with being a limp dick lefty or not. It's just a, it, 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 it's just understanding the difference between right and wrong. And it's just like kept thinking about that nasty fucking cunt down there in Florida you know my neighbor down there in Florida who put a fucking bullet through her head I mean I mean the, the single nastiest human being 
uh, I had ever encountered in my entire life. Uh, she abused every, every single person she came into contact with. Uh, she abused uh, and, and uh, every single fucking person, her, her own children, of course she wasn't allowed to visit her own grandchildren, uh, every single uh, person that that nasty fucking cunt uh, came in, came into contact with, she fucking abused, and uh, so at least she put a fucking bullet through her own head. And uh, did, did a fucking favor. Sure as shit did a big ass favor to me. Put about $20,000 in my pocket. Is what I got off that. Uh, got out of that goddamn bullet. Through that fucking bitch's head. I mean, uh, how many uh, of these fucking scumbags like Daddy Menendez, that fucking cunt down there in Florida, getting away with this shit uh, for an entire fucking lifetime. I mean, what, what the fuck? Uh, you know, kill the motherfuckers. The, the, the fuckers like that dude and like that bitch down in Florida that they have no business uh, being alive on this fucking planet and I'm not talking about from a doomer standpoint I, I, I'm, I'm just talking you, you know from a normie human standpoint that you, you think that one place that normies and doomers could agree on is uh that 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 fuckers like that uh, have no place on this fucking planet, and and and, and fucking get rid of them. Uh, anyway, and that is what I am thinking about on this beautiful day. What are you thinking about, Sancho? You say, Pop, I'm thinking about getting back in that truck where. I am sweating like a pig on uh, October 21st in upstate New York. Sweat running down. All right. So here I go. Let me go spend. A... God damn it. If I get out of this fucking place for less than $300. So uh, let me get back to dealing with this fucking gas sucking truck. Jesus fucking Christ. Get out there and enjoy your own 80 degree days in late October while you still can. Bye guys. <laughs>